Hey guys, so before we get into today's video, I wanted to let you know that we are currently doing a giveaway for The Crew 2. We're giving a couple copies away, whether you're on PC, Xbox One, or the PS4. We have a couple of extra copies that we are giving away to you guys. So, there is a link down below and you guys can enter for a chance to win a copy. We'll be announcing a winner in a couple days here on the channel, so stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you guys soon in a couple days. We're doing The Crew every single day for the next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back to the crew too, guys, and check this out. We got a new house. I did not even realize this when we were playing the game. We got a new house, or well, our house is the same house, but it's now much, much nicer in here. Anyway, since the last video you guys saw, I have done some things. So you might notice that I have a lot more money and a hell of a lot more fans. Earlier today, I went on Twitch and I did a two-hour live stream of covering everything that we did in the closed and the open betas. So today, we can start finally doing some brand new stuff in the Crew 2, and that is exactly what we're gonna do today. So, we are officially no longer popular, we are finally famous, which means if we go to any of the HQs, there is gonna be something brand new for us to do. And I really, really wanna head over to Street Racing Discipline because I really wanna see what drag racing is like in the Crew 2. I don't really know what to expect with this. I don't know if it's like a Need for Speed style thing where you have to shift at certain points, or if it's like, a proper drag race. I just genuinely don't know. We're gonna find out today. So there you go. The new discipline is unlocked and we can get some very, very cool cars with some sweet wheelie bars. And I would imagine we're gonna be able to do some pretty cool upgrades to them as well, which I'm very, very excited for. So let's see what's in here. Oh my God, these cars are cheap. This Viper is 160 grand. The best, the, the best drag car, the most expensive drag car is the Stingray. It's a Corvette. At 172 grand. Oh my god, I feel so good. I can finally afford everything. I, I like this Viper though. This Viper is very cool. Or maybe we go with a good old fashioned Corvette because that thing's already very, very fast. And I think it just looks cool, man. We got, let's do that. It's probably going to have some pretty cool customization that we can do to it as well. Let's get the thing. Ah, uh, do we want a Corvette? All right, okay, we're going Corvette. We're going Corvette. And bright baby blue? Let's go bright baby blue. I like it. And we got drag slicks on the thing. Hell yeah. That is so, so cool looking. So let's see how many events we have. Is it is it two like we had in previous ones? Okay, it is. We have two events to go and do some drag racing at. Okay, so we got one up in Detroit and we've got one in Las Vegas. So are we going to be drag racing down the Las Vegas strip? Is that seriously what we're doing? So let's take a look. It's It starts off like any normal race. I love those wheelie bars. That is so cool. Actually, you know what? This is probably going to be like drag racing from the Crew 1, which I've just realized. So we'll have NOS, and we'll need to nail our launches and stuff like that. Okay, so it'll take me a couple of attempts to just learn the control scheme and what I need to press when. And then we'll be good. And then we'll be able to drag race like a beast. I wonder if it's going to be... Best of one, though, or, like, best of three? Oh, my God, I've already ruined my Corvette. So, let's see. What do they... What do they want me to do? Beat 15.01... Or 15.1, sorry. So, run number one, keep the gauge in the green zone. Oh, my God, that green zone is tiny. So, I brake, and, and I'm revving up the car. I got it in. Perfect burnout. Okay, now what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, how do you shift? Oh, I forgot it's the silly shift things on the bumpers. I was like, why is my car not going out of first gear? Okay, like I said, the first couple of attempts won't be that great. So our time was a 16.6. Top speed was 271 miles an hour. Are you serious? That was hella fast. All right, so let's uh, hold this in, rev up the car, get those tires nice and toasty. Thank you. Perfect burn. Then I think I just gun it when the lights come on. Yep. Then I try to shift in the green. I got NOS as well. Use the NOS. Try to get as many perfect shifts as possible. And then just try to cross the line. I can't get on the NOS again. So we beat the time. I think. I think we beat the time. I don't know what the top speed was we hit. 297. We did a 12.7. Our gear shifting was good. That's, that's pretty good. I like it. I like drag racing in this game. 
I wonder how much we get paid for these though. So let's see. Do I rev it off the start? Oh, I think I can. I think I can just redline it off the start. Yes, I can. That was a poor start. I didn't I didn't have a nice as nice of a launch as I did before. But look at this speed. Oh my god, we just went flying past with 250 miles an hour. I love drag cars. They are absurdly quick. So so cool. So that was a 14.1. Not great. We could have had a better first gear shift. That was the main problem there. But we beat the time, which is great. We get 15,000 bucks for it. 2,000 fans. Very, very nice. And we, on our, we are on our way to star fame level, which is super, super good. So let's pick up our parts. And I think we'll head back to the house because I'd really like to do some customization on this Corvette. Some drag racing customization sounds pretty good. It is, like, such a cool car, though. Like, I forgot how fun drag racing was in this game. I remember when the drag racing first came out. It was a couple years ago in the crew, in the original game. And, um, we, we got some, like, cool early access to it, and we got to check it out. It was really, really fun back in the day. Anyways, check this out. We've got some proper performance, or some proper visual customization, which is very, very nice. So, uh... Let's make this Corvette look hella hella cool. Why not? We can black out our headlights, add some cool front splitters. I like it. I like it. We can make it look very race car -y. We gotta keep in mind though, this is a drag car. So if we want to make it look like a drag car, let's... Let's go with those headlights. I like those ones with the little front splitter. It's... It's subtle. Front fender, we can go wide body, which... Of course, when you're given the option for wide body, you make your car wide body. We gotta go bright blue brakes to match our bright blue paint very nice wide body in the rear thank you oh rear wing now i would usually like this is a zr1 wing i think that's the zr1 wing usually i would put that on but because drag car doesn't really make sense so let's go with that one and we have the interior color which is a waste of money cool well there's our drag car boys oh we got some performance parts as well so uh let's get those on real quick man these drag cars are insanely quick i didn't expect to be hitting 300 miles an hour i remember in the original game we did some drag racing out at the uh, bonneville salt flat so maybe there will be like an event out there i don't know we'll have to see this is our introduction to drag racing drag racing 101 where was the where was the other one it was in detroit right drag race east field drag race there you go what is what is, um this is not what happened last time is this a real drag race okay yeah it is a real drag race so the time to beat this time is a 20.2 that is quite the long drag run but we'll be good let's rev it up get it into that green bright and early Ooh, we gotta get a little little more little little tiny bit more there we go we're, we're good perfect burn and get ready to shift very very early oh man not a great shift we did a, we popped a wheelie there i don't know if you saw our front wheels were in the air like crazy let's go we're in fifth gear go flying past the objective this thing is fast. We only got five gears in this car as well. We're going to hit 300 miles an hour. That's 300 miles an hour in a car on a... Well, the, the road's closed, but it is a public street. Runtime was a 19.7. Objective was a 20 point something. We got it. Just. One thing that I guess is kind of annoying is I technically have already done the objective. Like, I've, I've nailed it. Oh, whoops. I got, only got a good burnout. Like, I've already done it, but I still have to do number run, like, run two and three, which is kind of annoying. Like, I feel like if you're good enough, you should be able to just bang it out in, in one attempt. And if you do it on your first run, eh, go to the next thing. Oh, yeah, that, that, the objective, when he hits his top speed, he sticks with us. Oh, 302 miles an hour across the line that time, though. Real nice. We're, we're good at this drag racing thing. 303 miles an hour we crossed the strip at. Very good. That is your introduction to drag racing, boys. I really like it. I forgot about drag racing in this game. But let's pick up these parts, see what other stuff we got. I think we have, if we head to, is it the freestyle? Or, or if we head to this HQ, the off-road discipline, I think we can, oh no, we can't do that just yet. We have to go to, okay, let's go, let's go here. I thought we were going to be able to do rally cross, but I think... We can do monster trucks. So, I think we gotta we gotta do a monster truck thing. There you go, new discipline. Thank you very much, monster trucks. Now, if you watched episode one yesterday, you may have seen that I was actually given a monster truck as a part of like my rewards. So, I don't actually need to buy one of these, which is really, really nice. So, I'm finally 
going to be saving some money. I own this Jeep Grand Cherokee, so I don't even need to buy it, which is awesome. I mean, monster trucks in this game are really, really expensive. Like, this one is 50 grand. I don't understand that, but it is. Like, the most expensive monster trucks, 135 grand. Don't ask me how that makes sense, but it does. We'll just use the one we have because it should be fine, uh, at least for these first couple of races, and let's see what we got. Let's, uh, where's our monster truck events? Monster truck events, oh. Are they hiding on my map? Oh, no, they're all the way over here. Storm X Arena Monster Truck. Okay, so am I gonna... I, I assume I'm gonna have to get a certain number of points in this monster truck. We'll give this a go again. I haven't played with monster trucks in two years, maybe three years. So, um, we'll, we'll try our best to, uh, to do it. Oh, yes, I already remember this. So you have to get... Or you can go and get all these points and stuff. Do the backflip! Oh, all right. Let's just... Can we get out of here? Can we, can we get out of here? We get out of here. Thank you. So we can get points, obviously, by crashing into these things, which is very nice. It's a good way of getting points. But you can also do, like, tricks and stuff. Like, my backflip, if I was able to land the thing, would have given me some pretty decent points. Like, if I come up here, I do that. I get a jump thing, which is which is cool. Like, look at this. We're like a we're like a skateboarder or a snowboarder. Oh, wow. There's one for a thousand over there. Oh, my, my batteries. No, my batteries. Look at all my jump points. Look how high we are. It's crazy. The monster truck is so fast. With that, let's go and find another little stunt to play around with. We've only got a minute and a half left to go, and we're about halfway on points. I'm not really that confident, if I am honest. But let's, uh, let's try. I think we can get some pretty decent points. There you go. There's a big 1,000 from going in there. Perfect. And then we get all these on the exit, too. Awesome. Thank you, game. We are a 1,000 points short. Oh, here's a 500 here. We have 17 seconds left to go. Come on. This is going to be really, really close. Did we not get that? Okay, no. We got it. We got it. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. Get the 1,000. No. No, we didn't do it. Um, to add insult to injury, we get stuck back. Um, okay. Aw, but that was cool, though. That was really cool. I like the monster truck stuff. Okay, we'll come back to monster truck stuff another day because apparently I'm not ready for that just yet. So let's see what else we can do. Maybe let's head to the off-road one. See if they, uh, see if they even tell me something. I'm not sure. Because I know the thing with the off-road discipline is that, or the off-road HQ, is you have, you obviously start in the rally raid stuff, then you go into mo motocross, and then you go to rally cross. Which apparently is unlocked, which I wasn't expecting. Okay, very nice. So we can go and get ourselves a rally cross car. So how, I have a feeling these are going to be expensive. Are they expensive? They are. Uh, two hundred thousand. What's the cheapest rally cross car? Oh, a lot of money. These are like battle cars, though. These are really cool. Really, really cool. I, you know, I don't think we really have the money because I would like to. Get this Lancia, but we're five grand short, so I have an idea. Well, I guess you know what we're going to do. We're going to go and do some races. So we've got uh, we've got a couple of different events to go and do. So we've got, uh, let's go do this drift one, Red Bull Drift Challenge. And today you're going to be able to witness my lack of drifting skills. As much as I like drifting, I'm really not very good at it in this game. I still need to put some time into it, like behind the scenes learn how to drift in this game and learn what the cars can and cannot get away with and then i'll hopefully be able to put in put in some good scores but for right now you will see i am i am not good at drifting i i know man i'm really not good at drifting like it looks really cool in this game too like i love the amount of tire smoke that your cars kick up it looks awesome but i'm just i'm just not super good at it i i feel like i can never pull in the points that I want to. I'm saying that now, and this is actually one of the best starts to a race or a drift event that I've ever had, which is, which is pretty good. Can't complain with that. Let's keep it going, though. We're, we're going to be all good. Keep it sideways. Keep it sliding. Keep that combo up. That's the main thing with drifting in the crew, too, is that combo at the very bottom of the screen. That's the thing that's going to give us all of the points. Oh, objective completed. We're already done. We have a minute left to go on the clock. Wow. That's pretty good. Yo, I'm good at this drift track. 
I don't know if it's that I have more room or or what, but I can do this drift track no problem. Maybe I finally figured out how to slide in this game. So now I do see this bar, how it's how this bar is set up in two parts. I don't know what happens if you fill up the bar completely. Let's see though, I've got 15 seconds. Can we max out that bar? Yo, those wall taps really shouldn't remove your combo because it really just screws up your score. I'm just saying. Look at this though. These slides are actually really good. I was really worried about my, my drifting ability in this game, but apparently it's not so bad. 46k, we doubled the score that we needed to get. We maxed out that bar. We get 13k, 1,800 fans. That is not bad at all. We finally got enough money now to afford that, uh, that cool Lancia, which is nice. But I think we're going to save that for, like, next episode. Let's go and, uh, let's go and bang in one more, one more event. Maybe, like, a good old-fashioned street race. Harlem East. I can do that. Or, motocross. Maybe both. Oh, man, I really need to sort out my guy. I forgot about this. My guy's in a t-shirt and jeans, and the dinkiest little helmet I've ever seen in my life. Whereas everyone I'm racing against is in proper racing suits with, like, proper motocross helmets and stuff i i need i need to deck my guy out one episode we're gonna need to uh to spend some time customizing our character maybe next episode we'll spend the first five minutes just just working on our guy that'd be good let's go cut the corner thank you those tires are there they are simply a suggestion for where to go that's what i've realized man the ai is actually keeping up with me even though i'm doing all this corner cutting we're 50 percent of the way through Oh, no, don't do a flip. What are you doing? My camera freaked the hell out there. That was very sketchy. All right, we're halfway through this race. I'm in second. I think I only needed to come in the top three. But hey, I'm just saying, if I can take first, I will gladly do it. Drop down to third. Fourth place is all the way back there. I gotta go. We got we gotta push. Oh, look at the jump. Oh my god, I almost landed on the guy. All right, boys, look at this. I've caught up. I'm right behind. Gotta keep cutting these corners. My bike is not fast enough. I really gotta spend some time getting, like, performance parts as well. Because, yeah, my bike's really not fast. There, there are some hills on this course that my bike, like, has... Ha like, it struggles to get up. It's, it's just not fast enough. First place, that race actually worked out in our favor. We pick up 13k. Another 1,800 fans. Boys, we're doing pretty well. And we get some more... More bike parts. That's very good. All right, down here we go. Harlem Street Race. We're banging these out, boys. We need to get something other than this Mustang, man. I mean, the Mustang's cool, right? It's awesome. It's a great car. But the problem with it is that it's, it's, it's just a bit boring. Like, I'd prefer something else, if I'm honest. There's, there's so many good options for street racing cars that we should really get one. Like, I think, like, all almost all of the vehicles are street racers. So... Yeah, we should, like, look at the GT3 RS, M5 over there, uh, AMGs, Ferraris, Aston Martins, or even a bike like that guy. Maybe maybe not a bike, because I'm going to fall off, but, you know, anything else? Like, I'm just saying, we got a bunch of options. We got some money, providing we don't spend it all on a, on a rally cross car, and we'll be good. I mean, we'll do some of the monster truck stuff as well. I think I just need to get better at the monster truck stuff. I, I wasn't very good at them in the first game. I'm not going to be good at them in this game. We're good, though, little Mustang. Let's go. Let's keep it going. Keep it up. Look at this. We're doing a fantastic job. Oh, my God. We're racing on the ra on the train track. Um, Am I supposed to be up here? Guys, I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. Um, Turn off. I was definitely not supposed to be up there. I think it's a very good thing I came off when I did. Because uh, I don't think there was an exit after that. That would have been my race over. Yo, look at this, though. The AI is nowhere to be seen providing bullshit rubber band. He doesn't kick in. We'll be, we'll be fine. Oh, God. Or crash into a park Vandura. Or was it a Vandura? I, I don't know. It was a van. All right, draft him. Draft him. Let's go. Boogity boogity, shake and bake. Hey, Russell. Goodbye, Ru Oh, no, no. We didn't get past him yet. Come on, come on, we gotta get past Russell. Come on, Russell! You're rustling my jimmies! There you go! Oh my god, the Mustang pushes them hardcore! Alright, nearly there. I gotta get off this train track. This train track is, uh... It's pretty sketch, I'm just gonna say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump off here. There you go. So the AI doesn't even... How does the AI... Oh god, no! No! 
No! No! Not with 25% of this race left to go. Come on. Rubber banding. Work in reverse for me. Work in reverse. 20% of this race left to go. I gotta be in the top three if I want my monies. I'm gonna drive the wheels off this Mustang. Oh my god, someone's made a mess through there. Come on, 7%. Push, I'm in sixth. Keep going. Keep going. Let them slow each other down. There's fourth and third. That's what I need. No, fourth crashes. Third does not. Oh, heartbreak. Heartbreak. Come on. That was a good race, though. I'll give you that game. I don't like to end it on a failure, but... Eh. With that being said, though, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, enter now for a chance to win a copy of The Crew 2. We have a couple of copies to give away at the link in the description, so go check it out, and you can win yourself a copy of The Crew 2 completely for free. Don't forget to subscribe, because we're going to be playing this game all week. So thank you so much for watching. See you guys soon. Bye!